be making a bear mask. I'm Miss Lisa for the Crafty Corner. Today you are going to be making a bear mask and you will need some scissors and you'll need a Sharpie and you will need some tape, um, white glue, glue stick, whatever you have will probably work. In your packet, you're going to get a straw that will be able to hold the bear mask up close to your face. You will also get several pieces of construction paper and half of a piece of um, paper plate that is pen painted brown. All right, so to get our craft started, you're gonna take your scissors. First of all, decide where your eyes are going to be. So I am going to actually just draw in here with my pencil. So, you know, paper plates have this ridge. So I would think that like right under those ridges, if we just draw some circles, put maybe two or three fingers, eh, maybe two fingers apart and draw another circle, that would be a great place for your eyes to go. So how do you pull, how do you get eyes in the middle of a piece of paper? Well, take your scissors and sort of just punch it through. Sure you do. Oh, you might need an adult to help you with this. I'm an adult, I can't do it. All right, let's take a pencil. Ah, there we go, let's take a pencil and make a little hole. Then you can get your scissors down in that hole. That paper plate is really pretty tight. So then you can clip and follow the lines that you have drawn. It's probably a really good idea to go ahead and draw those lines in there because as you're snipping, it gets very easy just to not have a circle when you're done. So I'm just snipping around and around my pencil lines. And there you go, there's a pretty good eye. Now I put a pencil mark down and put that pencil down in there so I could wiggle my scissors. My scissors are a little blunt. If you had a sharper scissors, be very careful with those boys and girls. Have an adult help you with this. But you can get those scissors in that little hole and then snip around the eyeball. All right, I'm going around and around. Looks like I'm getting a little bigger on this eyeball, but that's okay. All right, so that one's not quite a circle, but it's good enough. You guys can figure that out. So there's, there's my bare head. I guess it works. I can see through here, yay. Um, then we're gonna make his ears. So you're gonna have some different colored construction paper. So whatever you have two of, that's gonna be his ears. Now we have the pink, which you're just gonna to want to glue on top, sort of near the bottom. So I'm gonna set that aside a minute. I'm gonna use glue stick since we're gluing paper to paper. So we're gonna glue a lot of glue on that pink and stick it right down and press it down, hold it until it stays. We'll do that with the other ear. Now we have a lot of bear books at the library, boys and girls. There's not only brown bears, but grizzly bears and black bears and polar bears, it's all kinds of bears. If you're interested in reading about them, you will find lots of books at the library. So now that we got those ears done, we'll be able to glue them on and also the nose. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that nose first, simply because these are gonna be on the back side. Let's go ahead and get the front done first. Before I do that, I am gonna make his little, um, the little black part of his nose. So to do that, we're just gonna sort of make a triangle, but the triangle is gonna be rounded a little bit at the end. Okay, and then we're just gonna fill that in. If you had some black construction paper at home and you wanted to, make a little nose to go on top of this to make another layer. You could do that easily too. All right, so there's his nose and we'll just glue that. Oh, look how cute. See how much that added to this. All right, so since we're gonna be gluing paper onto a painted paper plate, I'm gonna use the white glue and scribble the glue on there up to about where the nose is and stick that down. There we go. That just, oh, he made, he was so cute now. I can start to see that he looks like a bear. Now I'm gonna turn it over and we're not gonna glue it this way. We need to glue it so that the pink is on the other side. And since we're gluing on the paper plate, again, boys and girls, use that white glue. Glue stick might stick for a while, but it will not stay for too long. So I've given quite a bit of glue there. Go ahead and turn it over, make sure I'm doing it right. Yep. So I'm going to hold that down there. 
get the glue here, hold that down. You might actually have to put a book or something on here for a little bit, but hold it. Maybe you could give me a bear fact while I'm holding it. What do you guys know about bears? Now that it's springtime, the bears are coming out of hibernation, aren't they? So luckily we don't have bears here in Connersville, but if you go up further north, and especially if you go out west or up into Canada, up where the big forests are, you will find lots of bears. All right, I think those are sticking. Now this one looks like it needs a little bit more over here on this corner. So just play around with it, guys, and just make sure it sticks well. All right, the next thing, actually the last thing we're gonna do is add the straw. Now I guess depending if whether you're right-handed or left-handed and how you wanna hold, hold this, it can depending on whatever side you wanna put it on. I'm just gonna put it over here and I have my scotch tape. If you have um, other kind of tape, it would work as well, but this helps it so you don't really see it too much. But we're just gonna to wanna to press that tape down on that straw and several pieces they don't need to be real long, but you do need probably about three little pieces here to hold that straw in place. I'm gonna press those ears down once again to make sure they're staying. And I think we're done. Look boys and girls, what a cute little bear mask. All right, I sure hope you come on down to the, to the library and get a packet because this is an adorable craft. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Miss Lisa. This has been the Crafty Corner. See me again next week for another craft to make. Bye now.